Hello and welcome to the Listening Posts unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm opening uh, Soundcast's most junior little portable Bluetooth speaker, the VG1. Soundcast has been renowned for, I don't know, a decade now with uh, producing some excellent quality uh, portable rechargeable uh, outdoor speakers and other things. So big units that you carry with a carry handy, you charge them up, you take them out by the pool and splash some water on them, it doesn't really matter. Um, of course, with the introduction of much smaller products, um, Soundcast has come to market with some uh, units designed to take them head on and with a better sound quality, better battery life and probably better ease of use. So, let's have a look. Firstly, this is a small product, so the box itself is small. It's a full colour, sort of a display quality box, uh, using a pictorial of a pretty close to life size of the actual unit inside. It's got a bit of information about Soundcast and obviously its model number, and then of course Bluetooth. Um, along the top edge there's a bit more information, uh, and that is repeated across all of the edges, along with its uh, scannable model and serial number there. The back has a lot more of the features and other things involved, and talks about uh, the, the life expectancy of the battery, um, connections, all of those types of things. Um, so, now, the packaging itself is very, very good. Um, uh, think good quality chocolate block, uh, box, something like that. It's a lot more than um, an a shoe box. It's good thick cut. It's sealed with two little factory seals, so opening this is really, really easy. Simply cut those and slide the lid off. Um, again, nothing much in there. From there, the packaging actually starts to unfold, and to be honest, it's kind of beautiful. T it tells a nice story. We've got some photographs, uh, hang around by the way, uh, for close-ups, I'll show you all these. It's got photographs of what you might use them for with laptops and out by the pool because it's waterproof, and here's this beautiful stylized one of somebody in the forest and somebody having a party on the beach. Great little advertising there. Drilling down, the first piece that you remove, you actually get its manual. Now, this isn't a complicated product to use, so the manual is in fact uh, you know, unnecessarily large. It's multilingual, of course, which makes up for the vast majority of the uh, pages in the manual. Continuing in is the product itself. Now, you'll see as I just put this away, we're going to drill into the next section. Okay, so in it is a big uh, polystyrene foam sort of uh, cell protecting this product perfectly and of course sitting it beautifully inside the presentation box. Further inside we see the accessory bag. Now this is a cute little bag. So anyway, get rid of that. Cute little bag. Um, it's sort of a rubbery material with some drawstrings, so that's nice. Uh, it comes with an excellent quality uh, USB cable, a 3.5mm cable to act as an auxiliary input, and the unit's carry handle. Now that's actually loops through a big nuggety, um, a big nuggety part of the unit, and I'll show you that with some close-up photos. Okay, now, the unit itself. This is small, and I make no apologies for its size. It's actually, it doesn't really need to be much bigger. I guess given its size, people aren't expecting to have thunderous bass, and, and, and it won't deliver that. But it does deliver an excellent tone, excellent mid-range, and a good timing to the bottom end. Um, it comes, as I mentioned with the handle, with a good nuggety point here that is used for the carry handle or something like that. That is an anchoring point. This has no flex or bend to it. I would suggest that that's actually critical and core to the rest of the unit and is really well uh, entrenched in the build of the product. Across the front is the speakers themselves uh, and uh, reinforced at the rear, of course, as well. The bottom has a couple of little grippy bits. Um, now, al along with some model information and serial number, there's these grippy pads. This stops the unit from actually wobbling along. And I'll be honest, you need them. The sound that this produces is actually really good and will go very loud. So fixing it so that it doesn't wobble around is an important feature. If you sit it back, it will actually continue to wobble and shake along the table. So to give you an understanding of how loud this product will go. Across the top are the very few but all that you need to operate buttons. The first is power on and off. A simple enough process. Once charged, this unit will power on as soon as you push the button. 
you've got volume uh, minus and plus, and you've got the ability to uh, use it to connect with phones and other things along those lines. Um, the power button, if I understand correctly, push and hold it and it goes into pairing mode, starts blinking, and once it's, once it's paired, the light turns blue and stays solid. So, here we go. Great build quality of this product. It is designed to take the knocks. It's designed to be portable and follow you around without having to have any issues with the product either. Uh, I understand it's waterproof uh, and it's excellent to see it's so well built. Now, before I sign off though, I will show you the end cap. This I uh, forgot to mention previously and hang around for the photographs where I'll also show you some close-ups. We've got this very well hidden away cap to beautifully seal the inputs and outputs. The first is an in for the 3.5mm cable, the above it is the USB for charging, and beside it is an output. You can loop and daisy chain these together if you want, which is a cool little feature. Okay, so there we have it. Soundcast SG1, a portable little Bluetooth speaker, hard wearing, excellent build quality, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.